So we're going to do um, blood culture for, from a peripheral vein today. Um, here's what the equipment that you need. You will need a disposable tourniquet. You will need something to clean both the patient and the blood collection bottles with. So we use alcohol with chlorhexidine called saniclots. Um, you will need a needle of some description. We're going to use a butterfly with a vacutainer, which is very um, handy when you're doing blood cultures, but you could use a, a regular vacutainer needle. And then you need your blood culture bottles. You need one uh, for aerobic, an aerobic sample, and one for an anaerobic sample. They're labeled, you can see it here, which is which. You always fill the aerobic one first, and they require eight to 10 mils per bottle. And then you'll fill the anaerobic bottle second. Um, if you're taking blood cultures and other bloods, make sure you take the blood cultures first, followed by your coag screen, FBC, etc., whatever you require. You'll need some cotton balls, and you will need um, a Band-Aid for the plaster for the patient. So you would clean your equipment and clean your patient and go to the patient. Okay, so um, you can take the sample from the antecubital fossa. You would palpate and find a suitable vein. Clean your hands, put on your gloves, um, apply your tourniquet, and set up your equipment. So here we have the butterfly needle and uh, the vacutainer. So open both your blood bottle samples. Take one of your chlorhexidine wipes, clean the top of it. One, two, allow 30 seconds to dry. Then take your second chlorhexidine wipe and clean your patient and allow the um, alcohol to dry on the skin. Okay. So open up your butterfly needle. Just hold the little wings together. Make sure that the bevel is facing up. Insert the needle into the vein and then take your bottles. So as I said, we fill aerobic first. So connect that and allow. So if you stand your bottle up, you'll see when it reaches the eight to 10 mil mark, remove that. Then take your second sample, which is your anaerobic. And again, fill for eight to 10 mils. Once you have obtained your sample, release the tourniquet from the patient, apply a cotton wool ball, and ask the patient to push or to bend up their arm and dispose of the sharps. To mix the samples, just roll them in your hands. Don't invert them. Make sure that you accurately label each bottle so you can fill in the patient's details by hand or you can put an addressograph. If you are using an addressograph, do not cover the bar code because that's used by the lab to identify the patient and the sample. Again, complete both bottles in pen or place an addressograph on the bottle. Then complete the patient's details on the lab request form. If they are on an antibiotic, document the antibiotic that they're on and wha what their temperature is um, and what the source of query, what the source of sepsis is. Place the bottles in the bag and send to the lab. <laughs>